Beth, at its meeting today, the Sanctioned Camps Community Task Force looked at safety and security recommendations for the allowed camp in Midtown. And there's a lot of discussion when it comes to finalizing those recommendations. As it, As it works on more detailed, refined recommendations, the Sanctioned Camps Community Task Force is considering four subcategories, safety and security, support services, planning and design, and operations and management. Some ideas discussed Thursday include fencing around the camp, 24-hour safety patrols in and around the camp, designated spots for vulnerable populations, prohibiting or creating a declaration process for weapons, and alcohol consumption rules, among other things. I come to this through the lens of like we're trying to build a program that is going to help people move on. And this program doesn't necessarily have four walls and a roof, but we'll have some structure to it. The task force maintains it has brought together a diverse group of community members to provide expertise for making the decisions, but says it is doing a lot of the legwork for how to set up the camp and operate it. It's not just the administration working on it. It's not just the assembly members working on it. It is community members working on recommendations, what they think will make a difference for everyone in the community. The recommendations are also expected to be used for potential future camps in Anchorage. A lot of this work is really future focused. As much as we can incorporate this work into what's going to happen this summer at the uh, pilot site in Midtown, let's incorporate it. But I think a lot of this work is going to be future focused for the possible future allowed camps in 2024 and beyond. The whole idea right now is we have a pilot area, pilot camp this summer, and then we continue to work on that refining what we've recommended for a long-term plan for other camps next year and the year after. And there are three remaining meetings for the sanctioned camps community task force to look at additional recommendations. The first one is on June 15th, which will look at support services recommendations. The June 22nd meeting will focus on planning and design recommendations. And the last meeting is on June 29th and will center on operations and management recommendations. Now, once finalized, the recommendations will be presented to the Anchorage Assembly, but recommendations is all they will be at this point. The task force says it hopes the assembly and the administration will use them as guidelines and expects to present them on July 6th.